All right, we are still in week 96 of the Shogi teaching ladder um, arranged in Shogi Harbor's Discord server. This means uh, that each game we get to play the game and then after the game analyze it with our opponent and see what we can learn uh, from these games. I'm always pushing the envelope in these ladder games or so it seems. I'm always trying to do something new and different. What's it going to be this time? Um, hmm. Yeah, let's play this thing which I've been playing in Shogi Wars. I think it's fine. Let me also quickly touch up the volume slightly. I shouldn't have to do that, but this seems a little quiet today. Um, so, yeah, this closes the diagonal to prevent a bishop exchange, um, which is possible this early in the opening, but um, generally it's not advantageous to do such an early exchange. Uh, if they do it too early, the silver climbs uh, up one and then up another. Um, and there's no counter retort with like a bishop fork here. So uh, so it makes sense to close this diagonal. Many players will choose between opening the bishop line or trying to advance the rook pawn on their first move. Here, I tend to play my rook over to the left side of the board uh, in a swinging rook strategy. Oh, sorry. Just one little detail I forgot to handle here. Um, and that's try to put the chat room in a mode where we just can't have, uh, we can't allow everybody to chat freely. Uh, during the game, we say that, uh, we'll chat after the game with our spectators. All right. So this is a nice little boat shape. Um, it's quite reasonable. Um, generally players like to move their silver generals before they move the gold generals, but you don't have to. You can do things however you want. And I think I'm going to take this opportunity to activate my rook. Assuming, well, I'm not sure what I'm assuming. I think I'm that they're probably going to move their rook pawn forward. But if I can prevent them from exchanging this pawn for this pawn, then their rook has some difficulty activating. Plus, as it stands right now, my bishop could move to 5-5. Five, five. I could push this pawn. And it's not so easy for them to deny my attack. Um, hmm. So this gives them the opportunity to move the rook over here. Um, if they move the rook over, then you'd expect the king to move into this attack. If they leave the rook where it is, this gold does solidify the side of the board a bit. Um, it does protect this point, which I guess I could have been threatening to push this uh, exchange and bring my rook here. So they are doing a good job defending against my early attacks. Um, I'm threatening to push this. If pawn takes bishop 5-5, five, five, they could defend this lance. I could take back. They could drop a pawn. And I haven't won anything out of the opening there. Um... I think a next reasonable step would be for me to protect my king by getting it out of the center. And this asks the question, is their king going to stay in the center, go to the right, or go to the left? And there's an accompanying question that, like, well, if the king's going to the right, the rook's probably staying on the left. Or if the king goes to the left, you probably want the rook to move to the right first. So I'm trying to confirm with them where they intend to keep their rook. 
The downside of this king move is that I can no longer do this pawn and then bishop trick to force the rook to defend the lance. Because then they could bring this silver forward and if the rook's over here. Okay. Interesting. Yes. This is one of those hot new castles, isn't it? Interesting. Where the king goes to where the knight is. I think this is the Millennium Castle, or some derivation thereof. Derivative thereof. Um, anyway... How do I attack that? I don't need to attack super aggressively in this opening. Um, okay, nothing's defending their bishop here. So they can't move this pawn. So what does that mean for me? That if I move this silver, it's okay. But I don't know where my silver is going next. If I move the king again, I'm securing my king even better. But Millennium is a hard castle to crack. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think this is probably the best I can do here. Trying to attack the rook and lance in succession. So they can't block here with the pawn. They can't like double their pawns or anything. They have no other pieces to block with here. So the best I can see for them would be for the rook to defend the lance in the corner. Which is awkward. And then I can bring my rook up, they drop a pawn, and it blocks both of my pieces. And this is the best I could find here for both of us. Um, maybe there's some other trick I'm not aware of, but... Yeah, I think this is okay. So the rook is blocking the lance, and I'm not sure where my pieces are going to go next. But I do know I've, they're contorted into this odd shape. Let's bring the rook back here. But yeah, where is my bishop going to go? I do like if they kick my bishop, I can cycle back and point at this diagonal. Um... Looks like they're going to kick my bishop. I could also go back here. And this leaves the space open for a knight to join the attack, too. I don't know. It's not so clear where to go. I don't want to block the rook. But the rook can't hit anything over here. So am I really blocking the rook if I go here? Um... Hmm. If I go back here and then I push this one, two, three times, I've helped their rook activate. So that's not smart. Um, if I go back here and then back here... That might be okay. I don't care for it. I don't know where the bishop goes. This is why I hesitated playing this attack in the first place. Um,
Yeah, I think this is probably the sanest place to stick the bishop. It does block the knight, and we do regret that, but, you know, I keep this diagonal open, and I keep my rook able to swing across the rank. And probably my bishop's going to move to some other diagonal, and I'm not sure which one yet. So, that looks fine. I could also consider trying to break open the center file, but there's I don't see any gain to doing that. Other than getting another pawn in hand, which could be fun. Um But I guess, yeah, my tendency to play these aggressive openings doesn't always suit me well. Because then we get faced with shapes like these, where it's not clear what to do. Because uh, the opponent hasn't made some critical blunder. Um, so they proactively prevent me from stopping their king from entering here. On the other hand, they had to move this gold up the board, and any such advance will create some kind of a weakness. I could hit this pawn. They could use their rook to defend it, and it's not clear how I proceed. Um... Sure. Let's build some strong castles today. Okay. Wait, if I push the edge pawn now... They have to move their rook. One, two, three, take... No, I I don't win anything there. Um, yeah, let's just build a castle. It's fine. Let's see what they come up with. Yeah, Anaguma Castle that is tucking the king in the corner with the silver and gold surrounding it is not always a great shape. But when your opponent is playing something as compact as this, maybe the answer is to play something compact. Maybe there's a different answer, I just didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense, too. Um, How long can I dawdle on this one? I think I still have some time. I think this is okay. Like, this seems to imply the silver approaching directly, or the silver supporting a pawn advance. But each of those things take time to execute.
Right, so they doubly support this pawn. So I can't do my pawn drop trick anymore. Um, so maybe I resort to this trick now. I push this silver, I push this again. Like, seems fine, right? The silver can't occupy both of these squares at the same time. It takes them one extra tempo to get this silver plus pawn here. So pawn, silver, silver. Takes three tempi to execute. Um, so, again, maybe I'm misreading this, but I think this is fine. It looks spooky at first, I'll give you that. It also looks spooky if this diagonal opens. Um, but I think I'm set. It'll be this silver moving to uh, 3, 5 instead was something I was a bit more concerned about. But then the pawn is blocking the rook from supporting the silver, so it's still not quite there. But yeah, I have to be careful, because this is pretty tactical. But my knight protects the square where the bishop stands, so this is fine. But if I make one slip, this could get pretty disastrous. Like, if I just give my bishop for a pawn, then we've got an uphill battle. Or somehow this silver were to make it all the way up here and promote, and, like, you could promote the pawn next, that would be a problem. Um... I promise I'm not baiting my opponent into trying to do these ideas, but to me they seem like natural ideas. Um, this castle has a weakness, and that weakness is called the back rank. Um, oh man, do I want to exchange here. I push the pawn if we exchange the rooks and they take here. I'm sorry, if I push they do pawn takes. I can't force an exchange. Uh, if I push pawn takes, I drop a pawn knight up, and then I can promote anyway, hitting the lance. It's not powerful enough. But some idea like that eventually has to land here. But yeah, this is a good point, actually. That without my tempo on the knight, and my tempo on the knight is met by his knight coming out and attacking my bishop, so it's not so great. Pawn up, pawn takes, pawn drop, knight up. If I promote, um, then they have two pawns and a rook attacking me. It's really awkward, but playable. Um, hmm. Oh, I just moved my rook to 2-4 just a second ago. Okay, I was wondering why I hadn't attacked on this file just yet. It's because only literally just now have I had any option to do so. Um, but yeah, I'm blocking my bishop. I do wonder, like, this is not my finest attack ever. How did I let things get to this point? <laughs> uh, 
Yes, I can't force exchanges, and they have a nice attack, to be honest. If I push, they bring up this knight. But if they bring up the knight, I can drop a pawn, but they can attack my bishop. Mm. Everything revolves around this loose bishop here. And my awkwardly placed rook. If I got the lance, what would I do with it? Pawn drop, knight up, pawn advance. Um, knight hits the bishop, bishop retreats. I just need to be more patient and just build this castle. And wait for their attack. The suspense is murderous, but... I don't have a choice. Yeah, if I don't prepare my castle properly, this is going to be a very difficult attack to fend off. So no, like, knight up, knight up, knight up forks my golds. So I need to take some precaution against that. Arguably, if the knight moves twice up, I could move this bishop, but then, like, they can bring their silver up to hit my bishop. Okay... That's interesting. If I bring up the bishop, then I can force a rook trade. Force is the wrong word for that, but bishop up, pawn up, pawn up, pawn hits the bishop. I'm not in time to force anything. Wow. Bishop up, pawn up, pawn drop rook over or something, and I still don't get to do this break. If they bring this pawn up twice, my bishop's going to be more powerful when it eventually hits, but who knows when that'll be. Bishop up, silver up. Pawn up, silver hits the bishop. I promote, I'm giving up my bishop. Yeah, let's not do that. This is sad. So yeah, they're threatening to bring the sulfur up. And that would force me to retreat once more. When my punch eventually hits, it's going to be strong. But this presumes that I can land a punch. And I might be presuming a bit much here. So, yeah, giving up this file was a big mistake. I thought I saw a quick attack. It's not there. It's not the way that Anaguma fights. 
Anaguma takes a nap, wakes up, and then fights back. And, yeah. They've got a decently strong castle, so I don't dare risk rocking the boat just yet. Um, okay, so we're going to defend these three pawns and bring this castle closer together. This does weaken my file further, but I think I'm still safe enough. This introduces a weakness on the edge of the board. So if I push this pawn twice... Yeah, now this... I can exploit that weakness. One, two... Um, push, push, push... Takes, takes, pawn drop. Lance takes, rook takes. Rook takes here. Pawn drop. Or lance drop, rather. So yeah, they can still make it very hard for me to fight. Um, if I push this pawn, pawn takes, bishop up. Um... Yeah, I'd be conceding this point. Hmm. I'm perplexed. Do I need to fight back here right now? It looks like I do. If I push this and push again, spending two tempi. Um, yeah, it just doesn't work. I need to defend my castle here. I just don't have the firepower to make any of my attacks work, so I need to be patient. So I continue being patient here, expect that their silver is going to harass my rook, and hopefully that'll be the end of that. My rook is thoroughly trapped. Actually, no, my rook could move to the edge file, but then they take this pawn. But yeah, no, there's no but after that. It's just bad. But yeah, this edge seems to be where I can launch my attack from. Either that or exchange a pawn and then drop a pawn on this side and collect the slants or knight or something. But um, it's kind of a mess. If they could bring one more piece to hit this pawn, that would help them immensely, but I don't see them being able to do that. Yeah, if they could hit this pawn once more and collect it for free, I would be in trouble. But as it stands right now, we have it hit some kind of an impasse there. Um, I know I've been delaying pushing my lance pawn on the left. But eventually we'll hit a point where further delay is just not worth it. Yes, I don't want to give this pawn up for free. That would be a mistake. 
Um, so I'm going to step back and continue defending this. Possibly I might repeat my opponent's idea where I push my left edge and bring my knight out to defend this. Possibly. But I'd need to find a way to shuffle my other pieces to some advantage somehow. Otherwise, it's just not worth it. Um, my other idea is try to use this silver somehow. But again, it's kind of nebulous. Hmm. Interesting. There's some problems with this, I think. Yeah, let's take this. I think this is okay for me. Sure, they do get a pawn rolling, and that by itself is a bit frightening. But if I drop back here, I think it's okay. And now... Um, I mean, it's still difficult to unpack this mess, but with a little patience, we should get there. Yeah, this diag this silver bishop mutual defense um, has been the reason they've been so afraid to open this diagonal. Well, they can't right now because the bishop's hanging. And... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, if they were to promote this... Hmm. How do I respond to this? My first thought was knight takes, but then they fork my rook and bishop, and I cannot save both. Or either. Um... Next thought was rook takes, but then they bring the silver forward, and then they fork my rook. Well, they can't, but they, yeah, they prim, drop a pawn, but then I take it, but then they move the silver forward again. So, yeah, there's no easy way to meet this. Interesting. This might be a blunder. I don't know. Yeah, so my rook and bishop are loose here. I really want their rook. I've been so fixated on collecting their rook, I've forgotten that they can attack things here. Um, in fairness, having their rook will make this game much easier for me, no matter what it costs. So... Yeah, I don't know. I think this is the best I can come up with here. And if they allow my rook to take this pawn, or if they allow me to take their rook, these both look okay. Um, if this rook moves sideways, this is complicated.
Oh, because then they can drop a pawn and win my bishop uh, by threatening their silver. The silver can take here and promote. If the silver promotes, then I can promote my rook. No, not necessarily. Okay, so we've taken the easy path. So this I was not concerned about because I have a very strong castle and a very strong attack. Um, so I can drop this rook. If we exchange, that only helps me. Um, yeah, I want their king to stay out of their castle. Um, okay, and I've not decided completely how I want to respond here. Um, Oh. Oh, I have a fun move here. Where does my rook drop for maximum effect? Yeah, this is the best place to drop the rook. So I'm threatening this knight promotion, followed by checkmate. Um, this takes precedence over capturing the silver general. But the other fun aspect of this is that if they try to defend, I can also promote the rook, and it's not so clear how they defend against everything. Maybe I should have dropped the rook on the back rank once more. It didn't feel right. Because exchanging again and then doing this... I don't know. Maybe I missed something huge here. Um, so if I check, they drop the rook, and my attack dies. Um... I attack this directly. Hmm. If I check, they drop the rook. If I attack the bishop, the bishop defends somehow. Yeah, let's attack this bishop. So they can defend this. Well, actually they can't because I'm no, they'd have to defend with the rook drop here if they're defending the bishop. Retreating the bishop doesn't save it. Um, and if they were to defend this, then I can just take the silver and, you know, we could have a normal game. But maybe I can check here, too. Maybe this check is even stronger, but there's some risk that the king might escape. Um, Okay, we're going to force the king to move up. 
where it's a slightly easier target. And then maybe I can bring the knight forward to hit the bishop again? I'm not totally sure about this. Actually, wait, this knight advance looks amazing. What am I talking about? Um, because if they move the bishop somewhere else... Well, they can move it back here. This defends the king. I seem to have just barely missed a mate. <laughs> Dang. I mean, what can you do? We were so close. If I brought the knight up first, maybe this would have worked better. Details, details. Um, okay, so we hit the bishop again. I'm expecting the bishop to retreat, and then maybe I'll take the silver. Maybe. <laughs> I keep saying that. And I keep finding better moves. Um, but I think I've run out of better moves here. I'll just have to settle for good moves at some point. So taking the silver allows me to threaten the silver drop to collect the bishop. Yeah, let's take this, shall we? Now the threat is this check. Bishop takes... Oh, the silver drop's not mate. Oh, that would have been cool if it were. It's not. <laughs> so, all right. Fine. <laughs> okay, and yes, this... This move does give their bishop somewhere to run to. But if the bishop... No, it's not made either. Okay, if I check the king, they have to block with the bishop, and then I checkmate them. Okay. Phew! Figured it out, guys. Somehow. That's a tough game. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Good game. Oh, that was tough. Um, yeah. Hmm. That was challenging, to be honest. Okay, I'm trying to connect back to my chat room to disable emotes only mode. My dashboard seems to be frozen. Let's refresh my dashboard. Uh, my DNS fails. That's great. Uh, yes, yeah, so one of my devices on my network is offline. Cool. Um... <laughs> So, I guess normally let's uh, let's take a look from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the a good way to analyze games. I don't know what's up with my network. Ah. Yeah, I'm open to that. If they want me to start the analysis for them, we can do that. All right, so... Yep. Yeah, this, this is fun. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. 
Got to find some common ground. Uh, yeah. Yeah, once you hit one Don, then folks get a little bit more critical about your opening selection. But until that point, you try not to worry too much. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, one second, I'm going to uh, do some maintenance over here. Um, oh, this, they want to move this gold up. Oh. Um, uh, so isn't Mino more like this sort of thing. Um, isn't this me now? Or am I imagining that? You can have a different variation on me now, I guess. Um, so the idea is that... Um, or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Oh wait, no, I see. Oh yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's important to use the bishop, I guess, is the main point here. Um, okay. Yeah, that's good. Um, so I kept this open. Um, uh, so to activate uh, the bishop is a little bit more of a challenge there. Um, so, um, yeah, I guess it's the challenge is up to them to find a way to use the bishop effectively. I'm going to do a bit of maintenance on one device here. So hopefully that's going to help devices get back onto my network. Again, my primary chat device is stuck offline right now because technical difficulties, which we're troubleshooting while streaming. What can you do? Um, yeah, nothing wants to. Well, um... Uh, I'm not really sure about a bishop trade. Um, yeah, this is where I really, really want a rook, uh, just because, like, um, but I'm not sure how good or bad the bishop trade would be. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess we'll get there when we get there, but, um, yeah, at this point I couldn't find an attack, so I'm just built on a Guma castle. Uh, so yeah, they bring the king out, this... This, this, this. Um, 
Um, maybe there is some way I can attack, I just couldn't find it. So I just built the most solid castle I could find. Which I think was a reasonable strategy on my part. Um... Yeah, so they were trying to trap the rook or exploit some pin. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I do wonder... I wonder about this. So, I'm not totally sure how I would have responded to this here. Um, yeah, there's too much to figure out here, I think. Um, but... Let's see. I guess around here, maybe I drop the bishop back. Um, hmm. This is, it was just difficult to break up all this tension that built up and just kept, like, there was no decrease in tension. Um... Yeah. That's tricky, but yeah, I guess he's talking about this. Um, so if you play this, I can just play this up to defend. Um, it's not entirely clear to me how this goes. Hmm. He thinks pushing the one pawn would have been bad. Uh. Yeah, pushing this edge pawn might not have worked out. Um. Uh. Uh, this thing. Yeah, this pawn to 1-4, I guess, is what he's referring to. Yeah, that makes sense. That could be challenging. Um, let's see, what have we here? Uh, would have been rough for him, he thinks, because after the night move... So if they started the attack one move faster, maybe that would have helped. Um, so this here.
Yeah. I don't know. I guess this all comes... All these ideas seem great, but, um... Yeah. I think this is the only conclusive thing I can say, just because all these positions get fairly complicated pretty quickly. So, um... See what else is there. Yeah, this is clever. Uh, yeah, then they. Uh, I thought I'd just be able to take this sort of thing. Um, Yeah, so I needed to do something a bit more creative here. Um, just because, like, this gets out of hand. I don't have a good way to fight back against it. Um, like, sure, I could bring the rook over, and then maybe this happens. After treat, and this pushes, and this is a threat. It's just a huge mess. And there's also like this stuff and yeah. So um yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I sat and thought for a while because I didn't want that to happen. That would have been really painful. Yeah. Yeah, that gets really tough for the bishop, so... Um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I mean, uh... Yeah. <laughs> But, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, what else could there be to look at? So I retreated. They played this. Um, let's see. Maybe here I should have pushed uh, on 1-4. So, like, I'm prepared for this kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe it's not so clear. So I wonder, let's say I just go for it. Um, mm -hmm. And then I push this, they take back this way, and then I push, drop this. I don't know. It's kind of a mess. Um, one takes two six. If I do this... Well, hang on. I shouldn't drop this pawn. I should just take here. Yeah. Uh, then we could see this, and I don't know. Maybe not this. So maybe we do drop this and still get hit in the face. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a mess. What else could there be? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, yeah, maybe I have to push this instead. Oh, am I okay there? Maybe. 
Um, so if I push here, um, hmm. Yeah, maybe this is okay. Um, it could be tricky. I don't know. There's tactics here. Um, so... We sack this and somehow try to break in. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Again, it's altogether possible I missed something in the middle of the combination, too. Okay, I'm going to go to my Twitch dashboard. Another way to fix this emotes only thing. Assuming I can get there. I might not be able to get there. Okay, yeah, there's... Okay, whatever. Maybe a drop pawn instead of the lance. Yeah. So here, where I do that... Yeah, I guess he's got a point. And then we could have this directly. Oh. Um, after the knight move, I can drop the lance on seven. Maybe. Um, yeah, a rook trade would help me out. So this could get kind of ugly. Um, hmm. Oh. But maybe it's still fine somehow. Oh, and the vine we were just looking at, I he should drop the pawn instead of dropping the lance. Okay. Okay, so that would be this line here. Um... And then this drop... And how did the rest of this go? I've forgotten already. Um, but yeah, something like this. So then I sack this. They take back, and he's suggesting after this capture, drop a pawn. And then I do this. Um, yeah, and I still either get the Rook trade or my Rook promotion. Oh, go back with the Rook. Yeah, that's probably more natural here. Actually, maybe not right there, but probably back to... Um... Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I guess that's right. Um, could be. So you've gotten a bishop here, and I don't. But, um, hmm. Man, it'd be nice to find one more trick after one more trick after one more, one more trick and just 
delay this attack for it, for it but I'm not sure. Uh... Yeah, this bishop's still sitting back there doing nothing. <laughs> but, um... It's pretty nice. I guess if we promote, if this promotes, something like this might happen. And then, like, stuff is hanging, and I don't know. This one here is okay for now. Yeah. Tricky stuff. Lots and lots of tricky moves there. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure where that ends up. Um, but yeah, I get, somehow get to activate my rook, it seems. Um,. Yeah, this attack is nice. Um, um, yes, around here, I wonder uh, what you're planning. So we'll hand off the hat. <laughs> yeah. Any proper discussion um, will require input from multiple folks here. But yeah, there's a lot of ideas. Because, um, like, again, I'm going to counterpunch whatever he throws. But um, There is a lot going on here. Uh, I was still curious what castle you want and where uh, your bishop develops. So, there are real questions to answer. Doesn't necessarily mean they're easy to answer, but there are real questions to try to figure out. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh... So the control click uh, just highlights a square. I forget if everybody has the ability to do that or not. Um, or if that's something that... Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the similar thing to control click is. Uh, Yeah. It could be possible that maybe not everybody can do that. Welcome, Killer Ducky. I apologize if I'm ignoring comments on Twitch. I'm not able to get to my dashboard there. So we're having to make do here. Um, um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, if 
there's a lot of ways I could rearrange my stuff here, but um, like I had some ideas with this or this or this. Um, I wasn't totally sure how to handle this. Ah, Casey left five nine unguarded. Yeah, yeah, it can be, it can be scary to uh, leave a weakness. Mm. So, yeah, if they're trying to, like, win my bishop here, if they're trying to win this outright, uh, so that it makes it easier for them to activate their other bishop, that could help. Um. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe there was something. I saw, like... If they win my bishop, boy, this goes down. Um, this position becomes much, much, much more difficult very quickly if I lose that. But, um, yeah, I wasn't sure what to do. Maybe the knight sack wasn't necessary. Uh I think it's a heavy loss, but um, I could be wrong. Yeah. I think there's some line where he needed a pawn to make this work. Hmm. That could be. I could see that being plausible. Um, yeah, if they had just one more attacking piece, I would have had to somehow defend against this earlier. But, um... I think I paid enough attention during the game. Engines might say otherwise. Engines like indicate that I've completely missed something really important here. But um, I think I survived this attack. And that makes it possible for me to attack much faster. I think, like, they've got three pieces attacking this. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, they got that covered. <laughs> um, so if they push this pawn immediately, that's interesting. Um, hmm. Maybe I did miss something important here. Huh. This looks really strong. Yeah, I'm in trouble, I think. This is looking bad. <laughs> This is looking very bad all of a sudden. Oh my. Well, you remember that thing I said about, like, 
Um, yeah, if they just had one more attacking piece. <sighs> um, I'm not sure. This looks pretty bad. This looks, uh, well, I guess I can do this. Try to bail myself out. Um. Hmm. Could be worse, um, but yeah. Um, so I really wanted the rook exchange, but suddenly I'm not so interested. <laughs> um, how do I try to win this bishop? Oh, yeah. I don't, so I've only got a rook in hand. Uh, during the game I said at any cost I wanted a rook exchange, but clearly I'm mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there is this rook drop, and, you know, it's concerning. Um... Hmm. How does one deal with this? Yeah, this... How do you fight here effectively? I don't know whether to just leave the rook there uh, or try exchanging a couple times to lure the king out and then hope something shows up. Um, I guess I have to do something like this uh, and then do this again and then something like this and... Um, Tricky stuff. So, if I need another piece, this would be a different matter, but, uh, yeah. So, because of something like that, I need to, like, resort to something like this instead. Um, or I'm sorry, not that. Well, let me just go here directly. <sighs> um, let's see. And... Yeah, stuff hangs. But, uh, maybe there's some tactic somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know. There's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah.
so yeah, if you can like completely shut down uh my attack, then uh then you win. So Yeah, you either need to um be careful and somehow not miss things or uh quickly dispense with this um uh sure yeah 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 that's fine so we went down this rabbit hole and i tack this and this asks like Hey, are we going to trade rooks or what? Um, yeah, so like, um, I don't know, maybe this, but it's, it's, I think I'm like very, very good here. Yeah, um, but there's maybe some ways to make this tricky. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that makes, well, this is hanging, but, um, we might need to do this instead, but, um, Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. There's so much you can look at. Um So yeah, this just continues to be an issue, but um, um, but overall, yeah. Yeah, overall, it was a really nice attack. It just wasn't quite enough. My defense was just barely good enough to overcome it. And, yeah. I mean, there's stuff going on in this position, but I think I'm up a night and eventually can find some way to liberate myself from this. So, um, yeah. It's not easy. Not sure, like, what else gets played after this, but yeah, it's true that if this pawn disappears, the rook gets trapped. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would that would have been a really cool idea. There's just off by one move there. Um, Yeah, instead of this, sack this directly. That's that's not so easy for me here. Um. Hmm.
Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe this pawn sack is a dumb idea. And just play this directly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and game I might have was some trick, but yeah, there's just too much to keep track of, I think. Instead of uh, knight two five. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you have a bishop. Oh. Uh. That's nice. Well, okay. Um, I might have a trick here. I'm not sure. Let's find out. So if I do this... Um, multiple pieces are hanging. Um, yeah, this is complicated. Mm, yeah, they don't quite have enough to checkmate me. Hmm. So, yeah, it's not all... In fact, you get both rooks. It's not a terrible deal. Um, hmm. Yeah, actually, that might have been a good idea. Maybe. Yeah, so that's probably... Maybe I just drop back like this. Because otherwise, I... Yeah, the, the losses are just much too heavy there. Uh, so this rook trade that I've been pining for for forever is just a fantasy here. Um... So, well, hmm, uh, is it better? Yeah, this pin here, um, kind of makes this attack tricky for them. Um, yeah, in general, it'd be great to activate their bishop. Here in particular, maybe not so much. Um, so rook takes, and then yeah, pawn six five is an option. Um, yeah, and the knight capture is kind of interesting too. Um, Uh, maybe one silly endgame thing, so we had all these moves, um, wait, did I play this right away? Yes, I played this, and then this check, and then brought the knight up. Um... So, the bishop can't retreat here. Um, uh, yeah.
Yeah. Well, let's see. So yeah, that's just off the beaten path, but... Uh... Yeah, cool. <laughs> that was quite the encounter. Um, yeah, we had an awesome game here. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Nice. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. See ya. All right, cool. Uh, so, moral of the story is that, um, yeah, Shogi's hard. There are a lot of tactics here. It would have been really cool to finish with that, without the bishop blocking and, you know, slowing down the whole mate at the end. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this... I should find some other way to play this, too. Instead of just predictably doing Anaguma, but my record with Anaguma lately has sucked, so I wanted to try it out in a teaching ladder game and see um, if I could play patiently. And I think I was up to the task today. Um, yeah, I guess one point of confusion that I had... Um, yeah, this is here. I should drop back like that. Probably. I sat and deliberated about this a lot, and, you know, I came up with rationale and justification to, like, drop the bishop trapping my rook, and the bishop and the rook tripped over each other repeatedly in the game, and probably if I just dropped back here, we've got our nice shape with the silver defending the bishop. Probably can push this out again at some point in the future if we have just have a modicum of patience about it. But, you know, overall, I think this, uh, this worked out pretty well. Their attack was impressive. Um, so, yeah. What did I play before pushing that pawn? Okay, so yeah, maybe this this is much faster than I thought it would be. And I can't repel it with the general, because all my generals are on the back rank. So I had to find somewhere for my rook to hide. Um, I thought about bringing the bishop up. And this just brings its own host of problems with it. Um, oh wait, it's sent us move here. And then this pawn drops. And I thought this would be terrible, but yeah, try it on your engine of choice. See if an engine recommends this or not, because this is just complex. It's possible this might be fine. I don't think it is, but, you know, it could be. Uh, it's just that complicated. Their rook is not active, and, um, I mean, it's kind of active. It's supporting this pawn promotion idea. And this gives the rook somewhere to hide. Um, but yeah, this is such a sharp position, and this king is so exposed. So yeah, maybe taking the bishop right now isn't the best move. It's crazy to think of that way, but um, yeah, what can they do to like solidify this at all? Um, I guess I'm threatening this and that, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm also threatening this and that. I don't know, Shogi's hard. So, I found some ideas. Maybe bringing the bishop up was actually called for, even though I thought it wasn't. Um... Yeah, this spending a tempo building this other shape that left their bishop trapped didn't quite work out for them. So it was a tough game. We both fought hard. And yeah, it's exciting playing in the teaching ladder. You get to play against a variety of different opponents um, who play a variety of different ideas. So 
you know, who knows what the next ladder will bring. Hope we enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.